The Dark Side of Vietnam. Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the dark side of Vietnam. Now, before you click away thinking this is just going to be a bunch of negativities, I want to assure you that it's not. Vietnam is a beautiful country with a rich history and culture, but like any place else in the world, it has its dark side. And I think it's important to acknowledge these things so that we can learn from them and make sure they don't happen again. Number one, drug trafficking and addiction. Drug trafficking and addiction is a serious problem in Vietnam, where many people, especially young people and urban dwellers, are exploited for sexual or labor purposes or become dependent on illicit substances. Vietnam is a major transit point for drugs from the Golden Triangle, a region that produces most of the world's heroin and methamphetamine. Vietnam also has a growing domestic market for drugs, such as marijuana, ecstasy, ketamine, and cocaine. Drug trafficking and addiction pose serious threats to the security, health, and social stability of the country. The government of Vietnam has taken some measures to combat drug trafficking and addiction, such as revising the anti-drug law, prosecuting some traffickers, cooperating with other countries and organizations, and providing some treatment and rehabilitation services for drug users. However, these efforts are insufficient and inconsistent, and often face challenges. Drug trafficking and addiction in Vietnam is a complex and urgent issue that requires more attention and action from the government and the international community. Number two, the social divide in Vietnam. Vietnam is also a country of stark contrasts, where the rich and the poor live in very different worlds. While the urban elite enjoy a high standard of living, with access to modern amenities, education, healthcare, and entertainment, the rural and ethnic minority populations struggle to survive with limited resources, opportunities, and services. According to the World Bank, Vietnam has one of the highest levels of income inequality in Asia, with the richest 10% of the population earning more than nine times the income of the poorest 10%. Poverty, malnutrition, illiteracy, and child labor are still widespread, especially in the remote and mountainous areas. Many people migrate to the cities in search of a better life, but end up living in slums, working in unsafe and exploitative conditions, or falling victim to human trafficking and prostitution. The social divide in Vietnam is a challenge for its sustainable and inclusive development as it undermines the social cohesion, trust, and equity of the society. Number three, human trafficking. Human trafficking is a serious problem in Vietnam where many people, especially women and children, are exploited for sexual or labor purposes. Vietnam is a source, destination, and transit country for trafficking and its victims are often sent to neighboring countries or other regions. According to the U.S. Department of State, Vietnam does not fully meet the minimum standards for the elimination of trafficking and is not making significant efforts to do so. Some of the factors that contribute to human trafficking in Vietnam are poverty, inequality, corruption, political oppression, and environmental degradation. Many people are lured by false promises of jobs, education, or marriage and end up in situations of debt bondage, forced prostitution, or domestic servitude. The government has taken some steps to address trafficking, such as prosecuting some traffickers, cooperating with other countries, and revising its anti-trafficking legislation, but these efforts are insufficient and inconsistent. The government also fails to protect the rights and needs of the victims, and sometimes harasses or silences them. Human trafficking in Vietnam is a complex and urgent issue that requires more attention and action from the government and the international community. Number four, corruption. Corruption in Vietnam is a widespread and serious problem that affects all aspects of society, from politics to business to education. Vietnam is a one-party communist state where the ruling party controls all aspects of public life and suppresses any dissent or criticism. According to Transparency International, Vietnam ranks 77th out of 180 countries in the 2022 Corruption Perceptions Index, with a score of 42 out of 100. 
indicating a high level of corruption. Some of the causes and consequences of corruption in Vietnam are poverty, inequality, lack of transparency, accountability, and media freedom, low pay for government officials, and weak legal and judicial systems. Corruption undermines the trust and confidence of the people in the government and the institutions and hampers the economic and social development of the country. Corruption also facilitates other crimes, such as human trafficking, money laundering, tax evasion, and environmental degradation. The government has taken some measures to combat corruption, such as revising the anti-corruption law, prosecuting some corrupt officials, and cooperating with other countries and organizations. But these efforts are insufficient and inconsistent, and often motivated by political interests rather than genuine reform. Number 5. Environmental Degradation Vietnam is also a country that faces serious environmental challenges as a result of its rapid industrialization, urbanization, and population growth. The country is one of the most vulnerable to the effects of climate change, such as rising sea levels, floods, droughts, storms, and landslides. The country is also suffering from deforestation, soil erosion, water pollution, air pollution, and biodiversity loss. The government has prioritized economic development over environmental protection and has allowed many foreign and domestic companies to operate with little or no regulation, accountability, or transparency. Many of these companies have been involved in illegal logging, mining dam construction and waste dumping, causing irreversible damage to the natural resources and ecosystems of Vietnam. This is not Vietnam's destiny. The country boasts incredible resilience and a burgeoning consciousness for environmental protection. Initiatives are sprouting like resilient wildflowers, seeking to restore forests, curb pollution, and build a sustainable future. The journey will be long and arduous, but with each step towards cleaner air, clearer water, and healthier ecosystems, Vietnam paints a brighter picture for generations to come. There are many other challenges that the country is struggling with. However, despite these challenges, Vietnam is still a beautiful country with a lot to offer. The Vietnamese people are resilient and resourceful, and I believe that they will eventually overcome these challenges and build a brighter future for their country. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Knowledge Matrix and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.